Wake up, babe. New exotic dropped in D2 today. It is the Wishkeeper exotic strand bow. In today's video, we're really quickly going to cover how to get it and a very base level breakdown of what the bow does. But real quick, I got to tell you about Geology. They're sponsoring today's video, so let's thank them. Geology is a 29 time award winning skin, hair and body care company whose goal is to create simple and effective skincare and healthcare routines customized just for you. Boys, I know a lot of us go to the shampoo aisle at the grocery store for the the most generic stuff imaginable, but let 2024 be the year of change. Geology skincare routines are tailored for each individual person because what works for someone else's skin might not work for yours. Their products are built around just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that are trusted by dermatologists. I actually just ran out of my eucalyptus body wash, my usual numero uno from them, but the clove jasmine smells pretty damn good. Don't tell the eucalyptus bottle I said that though. I don't want a fight breaking out in the shower. Anyway, geology will straight up send you great products custom tailored to your skin needs right to your door. They literally have over 7,000 five-star reviews so you know they don't play around. Right now for a limited time they've got a golden holiday offer you can take advantage of. Use my code FALLOUT100 and Geology will give you 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set and up to 30% off one of the skin, hair, and body add-on products when you add it to your trial. A great offer for sure. Take advantage of it while you can. Thank Thank you, Geology. All right, we back. In order to launch the quest to get the exotic bow, you unfortunately got to completely 100% be up to date with the Season of the Wish weekly story. Part of the reason today's video is late is because my dumbass wasn't caught up in the weekly story at all, and I had to do a bunch of mission stuff that I'd put off for baking dawning cookies and trials and what have you. You'll know you're completely caught up if you're wishing all the best quest storyline is on step 27 out of 55, aka the Apophysis mission. So do that weekly story mission mission real quick, then head back to the helm and talk to Crow, and then you will have access to the new exotic mission called Starcrossed, which you can then launch from the helm. You can do the mission solo, I'm sure, but it's 1810 power level and IMO, there's no reason to not do this with a group if you want to get it done quickly, so if you can, try and do it with a group. You'll start off in a jumping puzzle, much like the Garden of Salvation raid. Shoot the large green flower bulbs so that they open, allowing you to jump on them. Starting from where you drop in, move to the right side of the cave and keep treating it like a normal jumping puzzle and going to the right until you reach the very back area. Don't worry, I know a lot of people get freaked out by jumping puzzles. You won't get lost if you just head vaguely to the right. Quick note, there is a hidden loot chest in the cave close by to where you need to go. Make sure you have the Wombo Detector node turned on your ghost. You'll see the hidden chest way easier. Nothing big, but hey, free extra loot. In the next area, you'll come across some symbols similar to the ones you've seen in the last Wish Raid. This is going to be one of two mechanics that you're going to learn in this exotic mission. Every time you see a symbol, that means there's a Taken mini boss that you need to kill before moving on to the next area. In order to damage the Taken mini boss, you'll have to find a nearby glowing white blotch on the floor and stand in it to get a buff. When you have that buff, you'll then be able to damage and kill the Taken mini boss. Kill the first in the double rainbow bridge area and then move on. In the next area, there will be three Taken mini boss enemies. Also, just above the doorway where you'll eventually have to go, there will be multiple symbols. From now until the end of the mission, if there are multiple symbols preventing you from going forward, make sure you're killing the Taken mini bosses in the order shown on those symbols. Again, going from top to bottom. So find the correct Taken mini boss and kill them first, then kill the next one and the next one following the symbol order and then move on to the next room. In the next room, you'll learn about the second mechanic in the mission. Now there's an orange glowing buff plate on the floor. Go ahead and step on it and you'll now be able to step into the misty orange maze area in front of you. If you try running into that orange maze without the buff, you you're going to have a bad time. Now you'll find yourself in an open area with multiple orange maze pathways on either side of you. Using your new orange buff mechanic knowledge, reapply the orange buff and go through the orange doorways to fight and kill Vex. Kill the enemies and look for a small kind of terminal in the area with a glowing orange shape above it. You're gonna need to dunk your power into that terminal, cleansing the orange from the entire room. You'll have to do that a few times in this area, going from orange room to orange room, killing a boss and then dunking. Rinse and repeat until all the bosses are dead and all the terminals have been dunked into with your orange power. Next up, another short little jumping puzzle. Might be a good idea to put on Strand or even an Eager Edge Sword if you have one. Otherwise, just be patient and be sure to revive each other if you F up. Now you're in the final area before 
four at the final boss fight. Like before, there will be three taken mini boss enemies that need killing. And again, be sure you look at the order of the symbols on the doorway to know which mini boss you need to kill first. There's a white buff and an orange buff here. If you can't see the symbols, just make sure to get both buffs at the same time and then they'll become visible. Go ahead and head into whichever room you need to first. Again, making sure you're killing the taken mini bosses in the correct order, going from top to bottom. When all three are dead, you can rally up and move on to the final boss fight. I'm going to be really honest. If you have a full fire team, this boss is a complete cakewalk. Drop down, get both the buffs before entering the room and just beat the hell out of the boss with everything you have. As you can imagine, other Taken will spawn into the room and you can deal with them if you want. Might be kind of annoying to let them live. Here's a tip. Apparently, if you kill the two Taken mini bosses, then the big boss will lose his giant rotating orange shield. But we didn't even do that the first time we did this mission. We just flew in and beat the piss out of him in about one minute and that was that, but you do you. Killing the two Taken mini bosses first is probably a good strat if you're a solo player, but yeah. Make sure you're occasionally reapplying your buff so you don't die to the orange room mist. And after that, watch a little ribbon cutscene and get your new exotic bow. Take note, this exotic is kind of like the Revision Zero exotic pulse rifle. And what I mean by that is that even though you can get it today, you won't be able to fully upgrade it to its full power until later in the season. It's kind of a crafted time gated exotic, meaning yeah, you can fiddle around with the base version of the bow now, but as the weeks go on, we'll be able to further and further upgrade the bow. For now, you can at least tinker with the base version, which has the following. Precision hits and final blows build energy towards towards a snare weaver arrow that you can fire from the hip. When that arrow hits, it creates a pattern of traps all over the floor that suspend nearby targets who walk into the trap. You've also got the perk Silkbound Slayer. You deal more damage to suspended targets and you also get faster draw time for a short duration when you suspend a target from any source, not just the bow, or damage a suspended target with this weapon. Not gonna lie, I didn't really care much for Revision Zero or Vex Caliber, but early thoughts are that Wishkeeper looks legit. Suspend Ending enemies is still a really viable strategy in endgame PvE. The Snare Weaver arrow, again, strings up anybody who walks into the area when it's been put down. It kind of reminds me of Anarchy. Early thoughts are, I think this has a lot of potential. Probably going to be hard to put out an in-depth guide because we don't have the full amount of perks on the bow unlocked yet. But if you want a review of this exotic, please let me know down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the new exotic and I'll see you next time. <laughs>